Hey, I'm Ben, creator of Sanity City, a cyberpunk-themed virtual reality game. For a change, instead of the skyline of Sanity City, the background today is New York City by night. Have you seen The Matrix Awakens, an Unreal Engine 5 experience on YouTube, or even tried the tech demo on your PlayStation 5 or Xbox Series X? In that tech demo, you can explore a big city, looking very similar to New York. As a virtual reality developer using the Unreal Engine to create VR apps and games, this demo excited me a lot. Why? Because it offers a glimpse into the future of virtual reality. Call it the Metaverse or the real Matrix. This is the kind of worlds I wanted to create when I started developing VR with the Unreal Engine in 2014. But why is the technology of Unreal Engine 5 so important? And why am I so excited about it? Well, because the hardware we have to drive VR experiences today is not capable of rendering photorealistic worlds with realistic lightning. To render VR in a smooth way on current hardware, let's say 72 or 90 frames per second on a mobile headset like the Quest, or 120 or even 144 frames per second on a PC-based headset, you have to consider a lot of things. We developers are talking about budgets. A budget like in how much of something can you afford to use. One of these budgets is geometry. That is the amount of stuff you can show to the player at the same time. Walls, guns, people, furniture, trees. All these things are made of triangles that take up memory on your graphics card. And it was a huge problem until Unreal Engine 5. With Unreal Engine 5, Epic introduced a software technology called Nanite. It's basically a magic algorithm that makes the amount of geometry you can display at the same time totally irrelevant. Another huge step forward is the calculation of real-time light and shadows. It is too an intelligent new way to calculate light, called Lumen. No better hardware needed, no faster graphics chips. However, Nanite and Lumen do not work in VR yet. Then again, Unreal Engine 5 is still in early access and features have not all been completed yet. Sooner or later, this technology will be available to us VR developers too. Once UE5 is stable enough and VR support is working, I will start porting Sanity City over from UE4 to UE5. I've been developing VR with Unreal Engine since many years and let me conclude this devlog with a quote from myself from 2015. The Unreal Engine feels like software from another century. I'm confident the Unreal Engine will be the operating system that powers the VR revolution. If you enjoy my devlogs, please like, share and subscribe. See you next time and bye bye.